Hey everyone, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at Uta no Prince Sama Maji Love Revolution. Now, this is the third season of Uta Pre, and I'll say this right now. I finally finished it because I actually was watching this with my now ex, but I finished it finally. I, I just wanted to get this out of the way. I also want to watch the, the next season. I'm actually already going on to watching the next season, uh, which is the, I think it's what, I, f I actually forget the name of the next season off the top of my head. Uh, Love Legend Star. Now, I actually did not hate this season, but I at the same time also feel that it was the weaker one at the same time. And it's weird because the same reason I feel like it's weaker is the same reason why I like the season more. And I know that sounds kind of hypocritical, but I'll explain that with the review. So, Anyways, let's go first talk about what's happening though. So with the revolution this whole season, the focus is on that keyword revolution. I mean, a God honest truth, if you have a drinking game, I'm not saying do this, but I'm saying if you had a drinking game based off how many times they say revolution, you probably have alcohol poisoning sometime within the next like two episodes of watching this. Um, the whole concept though is that there's this new upcoming event which is supposed to be like almost essentially like the Olympics and all the bands are trying to figure out who's going to be the one that does the opening song for it because it's called Triple S and they have to be the best of the best to have it. So of course the Starish members are like we want to be in there but there's still a relatively new idol group and the thing is, is that other groups have been around longer have higher chances of them to get into the, the opening slot so they're like well we have to figure out a song to make us you know get there. Now, this season, though, however, doesn't focus really as much on Starish, but more so Quartet Night, which is the four groups that were teaching them, you know, the four-man group that was teaching them. And you, we, we meet all the characters more so. Every episode's kind of focused in the beginning on them and, you know, the kind of their struggles and their various things of them. But more so is that, you know, it kind of goes into a competitive nature where they become rivals at one point because they realize that Haruka is what's making Starish so much better, you know, like the members of Starish are getting better because of Haruka and Quartet Knight kind of is jealous of that. And at one point when they actually do utilize Haruka for their song, they realize how great of a group they can be together. Now, like I said before, you know, there are things that I like about the season more than other ones and there are things I dislike about it, but namely one of the main reasons I'll talk about in a second is that this is not like a reverse harem and you might think well that's kind of weird because i'm still not a huge fan of reverse harems mind you but i will say this right now is that reverse harems i still think you know at least uta pre was doing it a very good in a good job you know was doing a good way i should say and the thing is is that with revolution we kind of are now away from that almost this whole season i want to say almost kind of destroys the reverse harem concept it's still there don't get me wrong it's still there here and there but if you've seen the season, you know that there is kind of, I want to say, pulls away from it. Like, it tries to get away from the reverse harem element. almost tries to leave that behind by having it really early on. Because we see her dealing with the various the various characters of Quartet Knight. But even then, they're not really falling in love with her, per se. They just kind of admire her for her skills and her abilities. They don't really, like, go full out, oh, we love her. I mean, the one guy with the hat, I forgot his name off the top of my head. I think it's Code of something. But he is in love with her essentially like you know he's he really is falling head over heels with her, with her. but the other members are like eh, you know they like her but they respect her more but it's not like starish like everyone starish you know loves her they, they you know they love her because of her skills now the whole thing though is that like i said before that actually helps in many ways it makes it where this season doesn't feel like just a retrend of the past two because the past two was always focused on starish and the members and each episode was essentially like a dating thing with her but this time we have that still to a point, but it's not as relevant. It's more so with Quartet Night, and it's really not even a dating thing. It's more so just episodes that revolve around each character and describing them, and then the various characters of Starish kind of, again, get their, you know, limelight again for various reasons. But it really kind of delves away from that, and it's not bad because of that, but at the same time, it almost makes Haruka as a main girl feel unnecessary. Like, I know she might be the one that's making their songs for them and stuff like that, but she doesn't have that same impact that she's had in the last couple seasons. And from what I hear, the newest season, which I, I'm noticing already, the newest season apparently pulls her away even more. So I'm very curious on how that's going to be. But I've heard mixed things about the new seasons. I'll definitely have a review up for that probably, I want to say maybe a couple weeks, maybe three or four weeks I'll have a review up for that. But overall, you know, I didn't dislike this season. Don't get me wrong. It took me a while to finish it. 
uh, for various reasons, but I'm not going to get into why are those. But the thing was that I actually enjoyed the season. I think it was stronger in terms of animation. Um, I think the music was a lot better in a lot of ways. I do think some of the songs and openings especially were better in the first couple of seasons than this one. But overall, the music was very different in this one, which is really cool. I think, I think that's a good thing for the show. Um, I will say the only issue I had with animation, I forgot to mention this, was the kind of weird 3D CGI stuff they try to pull off at the ending song and also the ending song for the final episode. I think that was really ugly not your best idea a1 pictures that was not that great to watch it was pretty bad actually honest truth but overall though animation was still stellar and really well done um you know like i said though it's 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 like a crapshoot because i don't dislike this season i just think it's a little weaker that's why if i had to review it a through f i have to give it a solid b like i don't want to give it anything higher because i think it just falls into the, like it was good but it wasn't great it was just good. And that's, that's not a bad thing, per se. I mean, it's three seasons long, and a lot of times with three season shows or even stuff that goes on past that, it starts delving into, like, a very bad territory. It starts getting really retrending its own same things over and over again, and you start getting tired of it, etc. Uh, luckily enough with this, it got, you know, it, it has this, this retrend, but the thing is, is that it's not doing it in the same way. It's actually trying to kind of break away from the typical tropes that you get from reverse arms it's more going to like a musical show than anything else which i mean we've it's always been a musical show but it's trying to go focusing on that more than you know oh here's haruka and here's the various dudes of stars that fall in love with her etc it's trying to get away from that so i did appreciate that i won't lie i did appreciate that that's kind of why i gave it a b i would have given it a b minus if it had retrended the same stuff over and over again Anyways, guys and girls, I got this review out to you because I wanted to get this out to you. I've been, you know, kind of still trying to make catch up with all these reviews I've been doing. So this way, it gives you kind of an extra video today. I will talk to you guys later. As always, if you like these reviews, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. You know the whole nine. Until our paths cross again in the next review, have a great, great, blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye.